Hi, this is uh, Ramesh Gedlaya from Mindfire Solutions. In this video under uh, Symphony Learning Series, I am going to cover up how to use uh, asset files in Symphony, how to use uh, Assetic for uh, better asset management, and also use uh, some of the Assetic filters. So to start with, uh, I have a bundle called Demo Bundle, and I have a few CSS and uh, JavaScript files written inside the bundle. By convention, they go under uh, Resources, Public Directory of the bundle. And I have a twig file where I am including these style sheets and the JavaScript files. So style sheets are included using the link tag with rel equal to style sheet and the href. And similarly, JavaScript using the src tag, src for the script tag. So now, if we observe the path for both JavaScript and CSS, they start from bundles, Acme demo, CSS, and demo.css. Where is this path? This path is not inside the SRC folder. SRC folder has resources, public CSS, CSS, and JS files. So where are these bundles, Acme demo, CSS? So they come from the web directory because Symfony's src directory is not web accessible so these are in the web directory so that means we need to have these asset files in the web directory so for achieve that Symfony gives a command called assets install so what does it do the assets install command copies this JavaScript files, CSS files, image files or anything residing under public directory of any bundle into the web bundles directory. So let's run that command. So it says installing assets as hard copies. So installing asset for Acme demo bundle into web bundles acme demo so so now i have run this command using the hard copy option that is without specifying anything it will do it as hard copy hard copy means files are actually copied from resources public directory into web bundles directory so you can see that acme demo here and all my css images and javascript files are copied so instead i use an option called symlink so what it does is instead of uh, hard copying the files it will create symlink in web bundles directory into acme demo bundle resources public directory so the advantage of symlink option is each time we change anything in the resources public directory we don't have to run this command every time so we have included these files here so now let's see it in action so we can see that we have uh, these CSS and JavaScript files included. We can observe here that uh, there are four CSS, five JavaScript files and uh, each of uh, them are making a request to fetch in the browser. So instead we can uh, club this request into one to get reduce the number of requests and uh, reduce the traffic into the server so to achieve that we can use something called as uh, assetic so assetic is a bundle which is included by default in symphony and we need to configure assetic to use in our project or application so the configuration will go inside uh, app config config.yml this file and there is a section for assetic so there are two things which we need to concentrate on that is first thing is let's talk about bundles so by default the bundles configuration will be something like this by default the assetic is not enabled for any of the bundles so we can enable it for our bundle by right specifying our name bundle name here so we can give multiple bundle names by comma separated so instead if you want to enable it for uh, all the bundles we can just comment out this configuration 
and then there is something called use controller so what does this do so I said the uh, acetic uh, reduces the number of requests that it does by combining the uh, JavaScript and CSS files so with this configuration set to true so for each request uh, made the combining process will happen each time in the server so with the use controller also if we have some filters those filters are applied on each request so in the dev environment it is advised to keep it for true so that uh, if we have done any changes it will be reflected uh, without uh, doing any command so uh, explain the use of use controller false and uh, how does it help in the later uh, section of the video so now let's see how to include these files using acetic so I will comment out this part where uh, I was using normal way of including files and I will do it using uh, acetic so acetic provides uh, two tags style sheets and the JavaScript uh, JavaScript stack for the twig so I'll comment out the JavaScript section also what we had earlier so I refresh it here now so we can see that these file names are dynamically generated here so but you can observe that still the files are not combined so to make the combine happen we need to run the app in the live mode so in the dev mode the combining process will not happen so if we run in the production mode it will combine the files but still if you want to combine the files you can specify here so this will combine the files irrespective of the environment what we are using so I'll just refresh it we can see here that instead of four Java uh, Java uh, CSS request we have only one CSS request instead of five JavaScript request we have one JavaScript request so you can see here that I have specified bundles acme demo CSS slash star so that means all the CSS files in inside the CSS directory and also all the JavaScript files inside the JS directory have been included so instead if you want to specify the files individually how to do it so that you can do it here so we can specify as many files as required and we can give in the JavaScript stack and also we can specify options here combine equal to true so this will make the acetic to have the files combined and uh, served as a single request now if we see this uh, combined JavaScript file we can see that there are a lot of uh, spaces lot of new lines so we can minify these JavaScript files as well as the CSS file CSS file is also having some unnecessary spaces and new lines so to minify these things uh, acetic provides uh, some filters which are based on uh, uglify so we need to have uglify JS and uglify CSS so but this uglify and uglify uh, JS are uh, node.js uh, packages so to have them we need to have node.js installed we need to install npm and then from npm we can uh, install uglify.js and uglify CSS we can also install globally and then we need to configure them in the config.yml so here we need to specify that uglify js what is the binary and uglify css what is the binary so once that has been done we can use the filters here uglify css 
and uglify js so i have included the filter here now now let's see it in action so i have removed a combine from the css so i have combined only for js and also it is uglified now you can see that uh, all the new lines extra spaces have been removed and the javascript file has been minified so similarly for the css you can see that the css is also minified but it is not combined because uh, i have uh, removed the combine option here so if i add it even the combine will happen for the css this is the combined minified CSS file what we have now let me explain about the filter what we use for CSS that is CSS rewrite so as we said the Java aesthetic uh, generates the dynamic file paths so but we will be including some of the images for backgrounds border images inside the CSS file to also make the these URLs dynamic and also make them adopt into the aesthetic uh, URL structure we use this CSS rewrite filter so also you can observe that all these JavaScript files I am including from the bundles resources public directory wherein uh, the style sheets are included from the web directory that is bundles acme demo CSS demo CSS this is because of a known issue inside in the CSS rewrite filter which doesn't work when we include from the bundle uh, resources directory so so it's a point to note here let's look at this configuration use controller as I said use controller so if we specify this as true for each request the combining the uh, JavaScript and CSS files and merging them and uh, also applying these filters will happen for each request so this is fine in the development environment but in the production environment it's a load on the server where because the files will be not changing regularly and also it uses the server resources so now let's make it false and if we make it false so where does the aesthetic serves the files from because it doesn't use the internal controller so for that there is a command called aesthetic dump now let's run that so what does this do so this aesthetic dump combines the these four files applies these two filters and creates a dynamic output files and dumps it inside the web CSS directory so there will be this file so instead of all these files which are created earlier it will create one single file so similarly it would have created for JS so it is created one single file and each time this will be served each time this will be served that is one for FE that is the JavaScript file what we have here so the disadvantage of this is each time we have some change in the file we need to run the aesthetic dump so it's better to have use controller true in the uh, production environment uh, in the development environment but set it to false in the production environment aesthetic uh, also provides uh, some filters for the image including and also some uh, image optimization filters so that is jpeg optim is one of the filters that aesthetic uh, provides i am not going to cover this uh, jpeg optim in this particular video so the this video i have covered uh, aesthetic aesthetic filters and uh, how to use them hope this uh, helps thank you